okay, I need to establish my geek credentials, nerd credentials. Um, I have a master's in electrical engineering. So, uh, I have to do this over and over. I talk to delusional people. Anyway, um, Nikolai Tesla is remembered in the pantheon of scientists. There's a good chance that there were a lot of smarter people along the way in, let's say, 1990. You would laugh at a smart engineer who said, why am I not like Tesla? Today in CERN, there are lots of smart people. Um, but, uh, you know, just today I was watching um, Led Zeppelin with a, a replacement drummer, and I was going, wow, that drummer really knows how to execute. But there's a difference in creating the song and executing the song. So anyway, uh, what, uh, so if you, first of all, um, you hit what you aim for. And uh, one of the things I designed was some, uh, there's a saying, when man creates something, it looks like a skyscraper. It has manliness written on it. When God creates something, it looks like a star. It has godliness on it. <clears throat> so uh, I came up with uh, some, uh, I made a sawtooth function. These are not, uh, these are two, two argument functions. I made a, there's, there's a, there's a zero to one sawtooth, and then there's a minus one to one full sawtooth. The name makes, the name is, uh, naming things is one of the most important things in programming. I made a caw. That's a cosine sawtooth. And a full caw. And I made a try. This is a triangle waveform. The Commodore 64 had, uh, um, sound waves that you uh, created today you record a wave file and I, I don't like that that's one of, I have banned multimedia the uh, the game uh, uh, Dragon's Lair was a laser disc and what it did is it this was back in 1983 they showed a little bit of video and then based on what direction you move the joystick it would show some more video they were railroad car video games anyway i don't want multimedia in temple os i want it old school so uh let's go look at my differential equations uh let's I have to look at my code. Maybe I can do it without. No, I'm just going to look at the code. I don't care. Oh, what the hell. You know what I'm going to do? I made a physics engine uh, in 2000. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, this is a uh, mass spring system using run cut of four or five adaptive step size taken from numeric recipes in C. And what we have are springs and masses. And uh, when you, to establish my Greek, my geek credentials, you can have ill-conditioned problems that get numeric, that are more challenging numerically. I imagine accuracy is pretty difficult in this situation. When you have stiff springs, 
you can have problems. Anyway, uh, uh oh, we can't have that. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's hilarious. There, I fixed it. Okay, anyway, uh, so how did we do this? I'm not a fan of, uh, of libraries. As a matter of fact, I, I have banned libraries, and yet there's, there's, I put that wrong kata. You know, electrical engineers are smarter than computer scientists because we do real math, not discrete math. I have both. I have a degree. Not a, I don't have a computer science. I have a uh, base, I have a computer systems engineering degree. Uh, you take the engineering core, differential equations, dynamics, statics, thermodynamics, etc. Uh, anyway, uh, so I know how to make a uh, microcode to make gates. I might struggle to make gates out of transistors. We did it, but I don't remember it exactly. I can't make a gate. We studied TTL and um, what is there a resistor diode or something? Or what's the what's before TTL? Anyway, um, when I did I did a lot of wire wrap. Uh, glue logic. I, I know how to glue a 8051 to RAM and ROM using 74 LS parts and hooking up some TIP120 power transistors to drive a, a, uh, a uh, stepper motors. Stepper motors are fun. I made a 3D printer. Boy, I'm just rambling. But I somebody wanted to check my geek credential card so i'm just shamelessly trying to get this over with anyway so for this uh, run kata you supply a derivative callback and in this case uh i went ahead and built the masses and spring into the run kata which it's hidden. I don't like hidden stuff. I did it anyway. So, apart from the... Ma there's the... Uh, okay, let me explain how you do this. Maybe that'll s end this discussion. F equals MA. I forget Newton's first, second. I don't care. Anyway, uh, so this is second order. Um, I'm an expert on differential equations. And one of the things you do is you take second order and make it into a uh, you use matrices and you do two first order so for f equals ma uh, you you have forces like for example uh, spring constants force equals xd uh, no k what am I talking about K, how about kx? Your, your spring constant and your displacement. Um, so let's let's set up let's just set up a uh, a uh, let's say we have a spring and a mass. Okay, let's set up. We have two masses. How about m1? can't see this M2. You know, I have graphics. I could, uh, I can do graphics in my source code. So we have a mass, M1, M2, and a spring, spring constant K. So let's set up the differential equations for this. So, uh, there, let's do two dimensions. Three dimensions is trivial. To extend it anyway uh, so you have so you have to set up your state state vector uh, I'm not explaining this very well but you have uh, you have x1 y1 
dx1, dy1. That's how I x2, y2, dy1. This is velocity. You have the position and velocity of the two masses. And this makes a state vector that is eight, eight dimensional. Now we have to write the governing equations, f equals ma. Uh, so uh, first of all, we're going to divide So your force, okay. Should we make this more interesting? This is not very interesting. Well, let's just get it over with. Call it a day. Okay, so uh, the uh, there's no first order. Uh, I guess you could have. Yeah, we could have first order stuff. No. Anyway, um, when you when you decouple when you when you convert second order to two first order, then you make a trivial assignment for. Uh, um, we here's what we need to do. Uh, we like x dot equals a x. Uh oh, a x. So uh, these are vectors. X is a vector. A is a matrix, and X is a, A is a trans, let's call this transform, X of T. It's not linear. This is linear. No, this is, if we have a, uh, <coughs> okay, hold on. Um, it's really terrible. We spent a long time on linear differential control systems, but just having a non-zero, uh, Equilibrium for a spring makes the thing uh, nonlinear. Anyway, um, the the derivative of x one is simply dx one. This is kind of tricky once you get the hang of this. The derivative of the velocity is the acceleration. And the derivative of the accelerate of the velocity is the acceleration. Uh, so uh, the we want this mass over here. So x one uh, we want trigonometric. Oh, I have to do some trig. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you a little secret. Um, never mind. Okay, x1. So we want uh, the direction. We, oh, this, okay. First of all, let's set this up. Is equal to. You know, it's a shame to do all this work and not do the program. But I'm not going to do the program. I'm just going to set this up. Okay. So we want the force on x1 divided by mass 1 and the force component of y1 divided by mass 1 and the force x2 divided by mass 2 and the force y2 divided by mass 2. Okay, so uh, what we have to do is uh, uh, we want the okay, so you take dx equals uh, x2 minus x1 dy equals y2 minus y1 and uh, then you want to find the unit vector 
And it's very... Sometimes there's shorter ways, but the unit vector, how about, let's call it unit x equals, that's weird. What do you normally call this? I should, it's good to use normal notation. Oh, well. Um, V is always potential, by the way, when you have a potential field. I took uh, complex analysis, and we learned about the Stokes, Stokes theorem. Um, I'm good with electrostatics and stuff. Vector calculus. Um, not too shabby. We did. Anyway, unit vector. Okay, so unit x equals dx divided by dx squared square root square root dx squared unit y equals dy divided by the square root dx squared dy squared okay so once you got that Oh, we, uh, that's your unit vector for the, now what you need to do is, uh, we have to calculate F equals KX. This is actually equal to, uh, X minus X naught. I don't know how we want to call this. So, uh, where were we? So fx1 is equal to uh, we are going to multiply okay the force is the opposite direction this is this is the base is x1 and it's pointing at x2 and therefore from x1 to x2 is you want to get the signs correct so the force from x1 pulling towards x2 is applied to the x1 particle so we want ux time divided ux is a vector now we we're getting really close to getting this so finished uh, UY for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction I'm doing free body diagrams and stuff so this is minus minus UY now we just need the uh, the spring force uh, So we got to take the distance minus the distance. So we want it positive, uh, positive extended. That's the natural way. Anyway, so so what do we call this? How about how about distance equal distance equals uh, twenty pixels. So. Normally what you do, D equals square root. D equals square root X squared Y squared. And then you take, uh, let's just get this over with, call it a day. Okay, we want extended. So D minus 20. D minus 20. D minus 20. We can reverse it. No, let's just keep it like that. Okay. So that's your... Um, I think somebody said setting up the problem in, in the real world... Uh,
converting a real world problem into math is harder than answering a test. Anyway, okay, so as it turns out, the spring, this stuff that we just did right here is already I have a bad feeling I'm embarrassed. It's kind of I'm the only person who understands this library. So there's uh, it will do springs and masses for you automatically. So what that means is let's just analyze this. So I got this out of uh, so here, let me explain to computer scientists what rung kata is. Um, you know bubble sort? Well, guess what? You probably use Euler sort. Oh, you know what? Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, likes to rip apart. I have a pet peeve. I can't stand first order physics in space games. Son of a bitch. Even Star Wars does first order physics. I hate that. Why can't they do second order? Uh, what that means is uh, you don't do 90 degree turns and stuff like that. Anyway, they they don't do they don't do second order physics. It's ridiculous. I've seen really fancy space games that do first order physics. I'm going, what the hell is wrong with you? You do all that crazy art and then you do first order physics. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> so um, Euler is, well, this is not the same topic, but anyway, to solve physics, you solve differential equations, and Euler, Euler is the, uh, the uh, what would you call it, naive, if, if you multiply by a velocity, if you add a velocity, Euler is probably what you use or even worse if you're not doing second order. Anyway, Euler is, uh, that's like bubble sort. I'm putting it, I, I mock computer scientists because they don't even know what Runcata is. Runcata is like quick sort, Euler is like bubble sort. And you, you're clueless. So, uh, get all these arrogant computer science engineers are smarter than computer scientists because we do differential equations so uh, we have uh, so I got this uh, out of I adapted this out of numeric recipes in C and what it has is a uh, run cut of four or five if you've ever looked at a FFT um, what they do is they combine uh, algebra, and it takes they 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 take uh, they use more equations they crunch more equations at one time by combining them. Let's say you let's say you had ten equations. If you combine them together, you can find common terms. That's the general. You know they talk about divide and conquer. Anyway, that's the general idea of an FFT, or I don't know if that's what Runcata is. Something like that. So Runcata 4, 5. I'm looking for my, that 4, this is an adaptive step size. What that means is um, you set a tolerance that you're aiming for. This is really cool. Let me explain this. Uh, Let's say you, uh, well, let's say you, uh, you want to find how much error you have in your, for, in your, in your simulation. How would you go about estimating the error? Well, what you do is you try to compare it to perfect. If you're sitting at, uh, let's say you're taking Let's say you're taking a step size of 
pixels. And what you could do, you could um, you could take step size of 0 0.01, and then you would say, you know what, 0 0.01 is perfect compared to 0 0.1, and now you know what your error is. So your 0 0.1 uh, step size value position, you compare it to 0 0.01 step size. And now you have an estimate of your error. So, uh, I don't know if I explained that very well. So, here's the issue. You want to, if you want to keep your error at uh, epsilon, then uh, uh, I should use the right epsilon. Is that what we want? Delta epsilon. I think we want epsilon. No, the epsilon has a very specific meaning in numeric calculation. It's your uh, floating point uh, limitation for 64 bit. Anyway, don't use epsilon. I call it tolerance. So uh, what that is, let's say you want your error down to one pixel. And so you have to estimate what your error is. So you take a step size of 0.1 and you say, okay, it came out to position 5. Then you take a step size of 0.01 and it also came out, it came out to 5.5. So you say, okay, we, at this at this step size, we have an error of 0.5. And if that's not good enough, you take smaller step sizes. Now you kick it down to... So if you were doing 0.1 and 0.01, now you kick it down to 0.01 and 0.001. And what this does is uh, when you have gravitational... Uh, let's go to... When you have gravitational, uh, you've never seen a white man asteroid. You get nauseous with the spinning. Did you realize that that's what happens in space? It doesn't. When you turn left or right, it keeps getting faster and faster. That's why they have those uh, puke. Uh, I used to, when I first saw the NASA puke machines, I thought, God, that's cruel. Why are they doing that? But all it takes is a control system out of whack, and you're in. <laughs> so um, in, in one of my video games, I made a control system that's realistic for missiles. No, I did the, well, yeah, oh, okay, I did my rocket science one. Anyway, uh, so this is uh, second order, second order asteroids. We, uh, we actually pick up moment, angular velocity so I made microgravity you know what's amazing I I, I kid you not I put these pinto beans in there before before this is old this is from uh, 2007. I put these pinto bean asteroids before um, they did the uh, contact. I just, uh, I was smart enough to predict that. I don't know how I did, how I managed that, but I did. Somebody called it pinto beans. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I studied control systems. I am literally a rocket scientist. And... Uh, not a very good one. I only studied two years. And 
I'm happy that I can use it in video games. That's good enough. You know, learning rocket science, science so I can do video games. It was worth it. So anyway, uh, these are feedback gains. This is some nasty math. It looks simple. <laughs> Um, sometimes you can get a, uh, you don't know what you don't know. And uh, if you know uh, calculus, you might not be aware. It can get real nasty, really simply. And doing these, uh, this is just uh, F equals MA, but... Uh, Picking, there's one number you have to pick, which is your feedback gain, and it, it's, it's pretty cool learning the theory. PID controllers are nice. Um, there are more sophisticated. Um, what the professionals have to deal with are uh, coupled um, high order when you have both uh, oh and they have fuel slosh fuel slosh that's the coolest thing one time I modeled fuel slosh and uh, I have a game called sim structure which is a windows game and uh, it's it it has masses and springs what I did is I put a uh, a uh, oh we could put fuel slosh into this game we make another mass and we dangle it off of this this is uh, actually just a sprite pasted on top of two mass of, of, of the two masses and uh, in order to get fuel slosh what I did is uh, I dangled a uh, a loose mass off of the top of the rocket and what that did is it uh, I think it was pretty good for fuel slosh. Um, the fuel sloshes back and forth. Anyway, so uh, adaptive controls sound cool. What if your fighter plane gets a damaged wing? I didn't put... Uh, I made a uh, an eagle flight simulator, but I... Normal flight simulator enthusiasts want it to be like the airplane, but I have no interest in airplanes. Uh, I could have gotten a model for an airplane. That's, do you remember what, I, what we were talking about here? Well, if you look in a book, you can get the equations for an airplane of a specific type. And uh, <clears throat> I don't, I, I, I'm not going to make knobs and dials and stuff like that. I'm just not interested in that. I, what, what interests me is, uh, well, it used to interest me. So this is, uh, I put some viscosity. This doesn't accelerate crazy, so I cheated. Um, if this was a real space game, it would accelerate into puke. Anyway, so it's got like air resistance. But I, I made a, uh, you hit the back key and it'll take you out of a spin. And when you're targeting lasers, you have to keep your, uh, it jitters. Um, these, uh, these members, um, I got to wondering for performance, would... Would you want your uh, thrusters, um, the lever arm, if you put your thruster on a lever arm, uh, it makes you spin faster, but nobody cares. They don't make fighter plane 
NASA doesn't make fighter plane rocket or if you wanted to spin fat if you wanted to spin fast put your thruster out on a lever maybe anyway so uh, uh, is, wait a minute is that correct that doesn't sound correct I could be stupid well where did I get that idea hold on a second here That's not at all correct. When when you have your uh, the the angular momentum is best when it's uh, tucked in. Everybody knows that your moment of inertia is uh, lowest. It's uh, is it integral of square square of the density? I think so. Anyway, uh, so for. Uh, So if you had your jet sticking out, am I correct? I can't think at the moment. At one point, I was convinced that if you stuck your if you stuck your thruster out, it would spin faster. It would. We could test it. Anyway. Oh well. Uh, so I made a. Uh, this has a laser level where you heat up. I'm not going to play it, but uh, it's pretty cool. Maybe I could. Let's let's play it. It, should, it won't take that long. So we have, so this is, uh, when I was a kid, we had abstract games. I had no idea Pac-Man was, why they even bothered to call it a story. And as a matter of fact, I don't like the story. That's terrible. Mental health pills. That's awful. Those are wicked. Anyway, uh, anyway, so they make they they actually shorten your life and make you impotent and all kinds of shit. Other people just love them, fuckers. So anyway, uh, to do the shorten your life and. They tell you horror. You go to the doctor and they they put these videos on and they say, if you stop taking your meds, your brain shrinks. What the fuck are you doing, fucking around with my brain? Oh, I got my uh, my member tweet. We have to do a spacewalk. So uh, it does a. Uh, it does a, uh, it does a, oh, got tweaked again. You don't have to. If you want to fly a damaged ship, you can fly. It's hard to fly. It's just not pleasant. So, uh, it does a uh, violation of Newton's law in order to make that untweak. It, okay, be careful. So, uh, it does a violation of Newton's law. It kicks with nothing. It does. There's not a equal and opposite reaction. I had to do it in order to get the untweak. Oh, you, know, you can you can make your fuse uh, longer or shorter. Just bear with me until we get this to one one more level, and we have lasers. That's cool. This level is fun. Actually, but I don't want to die. That would really be terrible. Uh oh. So this is a Star Trek Galactic uh, station. The inside of the of the uh, star base. Okay, I made it to the laser level. Um, I. When I was a kid, we didn't have to have realism. It was nobody. What the hell is Qbert? It's nothing. Tempest. What the hell is that? I. When kids ask me what it, this is, who? It's like asking what chess is. Why does it have to have? So anyway. 
So I have a laser and I have to hold down the key to keep me from jittering. You have to hold it on the enemy. Actually, they have this, don't they? That Star Citizen, they have lasers, but uh, they don't have control systems, do they? Elite hats or uh, hats off to Elite. Elite has some white people. <laughs> that was a Commodore 64 game. Those guys were not, those guys were engineers. Every engineer knows it. That's the difference in an engineer. Engineers know F equals MA. It's not something to brag about. It's just F equals MA. So this has uh, this has uh, air resistance, viscosity. I call it. You can um, when you're setting up these differential equations. Sometimes they go nuts, and you have to. Uh, well, if it's just a video game, just th throw some air resistance in there, and it won't go spastic. It's pretty funny. What? Oh, we can take the air resistance out of this game. And then it's a, uh, it's a, uh, puke rocket, what's, vomit comet, that's what, that's what I was looking for. Um, if you take the, uh, air resistance out, you get a vomit comet. So, uh, going to apps, Excalibur. And um, when you use my library, drag V3, this is a third order viscosity. I don't know what you want to call it. Third order viscosity. <laughs> um, we'll just get rid of that. You set a tolerance in these video games. You don't need a lot of tolerance. Let's see what this does. Is that all it takes? I only have one viscosity. I'm amazed. It's high order. Okay, ooh, look at that. We're doing a vomit comet. Okay, so uh, if you don't have air resistance, things can go spastic. Anyway, uh, did I screw it up? Damn it! I uh, I did something unintentional. Did I? I did. Okay, that's not your concern. I'm going to merge with my backup on my other drive. And oh, look at that! How did I? Oh, I got I deleted a uh, minus nine. Let's say abort all files. Okay, I fixed it. So there, I'm not the smartest rocket scientist, but I know algebra. Somebody was, that my doctor is convinced I'm an imposter syndrome. I wrote a fucking compiler in kernel, and uh, he's convinced I don't know algebra. God damn it, I took nonlinear differential equations, the little motherfucker.